Hi, this is Eddie Rosquito from Behringer and I'm here with Galactic Music to talk to you about our new X32 Digital Mixer. Our X32 Digital Mixer features 32 channels, 32 Midas designed preamps, 16 buses with 16 assignable XLR outputs, 25 motorized faders with one fader dedicated to the master output. Also features uh, AES50 digital snake connectivity, and as standard, a 32 by 32 USB FireWay audio interface. There's also a channel strip control for each of the input channels and the 16 buses as well. These provide EQs and dynamics for all those channels, in addition to eight stereo effects processors. The X32 offers functionality and specifications never before seen at this price. It's well suited for live environments and studio environments, for example, houses of worship, recording studios, schools and theaters, and also for live venues. So let's go through some of the features in, in a little bit more detail from the mixer. Okay, so we have 25 motorized faders. The first 16 input faders have dedicated layer buttons here to allow you to toggle from channels 1 to 16, 17 to 32, and also auxiliary returns and internal effects returns and USB return as well. The last button on this layer section allows you to see your 16 mix buses. On this side we have eight DCA faders and again with the layer button we can change that to our 16 bus masters and also our matrix outputs as well. And here we have a dedicated master fader. Moving to the top of the mixer, we have a dedicated channel strip for each section. So for example, if I press the select button for input channel one, this will display all the relevant settings for this selected channel. If I select channel two, this reflects all those settings for that channel and so on and so on. And as you, you may be able to see on the screen here, the screen follows whichever selected channel I have. Below the channels, we have meters here, which indicate level activity, and LEDs to indicate compression and gate activity as well. Underneath that, we have our scribble strips. Now these are, are fully customizable. You can change the colors, and you can change the icons and the writing in there as well. And it's accessed quite easily by pressing the utility button and changing the various parameters within this screen. So I'll just go into a bit more detail within the channel strip section itself. Here we have settings for our preamp, gate, dynamics, EQ, bus sends, and main bus assignment. Now, one, one really handy feature of the X32 mixer in terms of navigating the mixer is that each section has its own dedicated view button. What that allows you to do is quickly and easily get to the relevant screen without necessarily pressing these buttons. So for example, if I want to go to channel 4 and view the bus sends, quickly press the view button and it allows me to get there quite easily. And again, I can do that for each section as well. So on the input channel, you have the most commonly accessed parameters. For example, the dynamics will show you or, or provide access to the threshold. But again, if I want to get into further detail, I press the view button. On the screen now, I can access extra parameters such as threshold, ratio, attack, etc. And you use the six push encoder knobs below the TFT screen to adjust those settings. Now, moving across to this side, as I mentioned, we have eight VCA faders. Assigning to the VCA faders is quite easily done. You press the select button and you can easily see what's assigned to that DCA. So, for example, if I want to remove some of these channels, I can do that or if I want to add additional channels, I just press the select button for that channel. You can, of course, customize your scribble strips for the DCA as well. Moving down, we have the bus masters in sets of in groups of eight and the matrix outputs here. Now, additionally, these faders can also be used as sends. So for example, pressing the send on faders button here will allow me to send audio to the specified bus for this particular selected channel. So for example, right now I have channel four selected, and if I want to send to bus two, bus three and four, sorry, or bus five, etc., et I can do that quite easily. So it replicates, in a way, the functionality of the assignable knobs here. However, if I select the actual mix bus, for example, I'll select bus one, then you'll notice these 16 input faders now reflect 
their individual channel assignments to that bus. So sends on faders can be used in two ways. The X32 also allows you to put your graphic EQ on faders. This is quite, done quite easily by selecting the graphic EQ page, pressing the GEQ on faders. Now the eight faders here are now assigned to your graphic EQ. So you can scroll through them. And mute, pressing the mute button will reset that graphic EQ. The 7 inch color TFT display provides more detailed information for the, for the selected channel or bus. There are six rotary push encoders which allow you to change various parameters and also to toggle between certain parameters by push of a button. You also have your navigational menu buttons here which allow you to access other parameters such as the metering, routing, setup, library, the effects homepage and utilities and mute groups as well. Moving along to the right hand side of the mixer we have our monitor sends here and our talkback section. Again, both of them have their own dedicated view button so you can adjust further parameters for those section. We have our scenes section here which allows you to navigate your scenes on the, on the mixer itself. You can store up to 100 scenes on board the mixer and of course you can export them or import them from USB. Here we have our assignable section. This provides additional flexibility to the mixer because you can assign these knobs and buttons to additional parameters within the mixer. So for example, you can assign them to jump screens to jump to some of your favorite pages on the mixer. You can also assign them to MIDI out parameters, for example, or to control internal effects modulations as well. And you can even use them to send out <coughs> messages in terms of the emulation modes, for example, MCU emulation or Huey uh, control emulation. So for example, you can assign start or play, rewind, fast forward, etc. Now you have four encoders and eight buttons available on three sets. So you have A, B, and C. In total, that gives you 12 assignable encoders and 24 assignable buttons. Below that, we have the mute groups, six mute, assignable mute groups with a dedicated mute group button here as a safety precaution for assigning channels to the mute group. And next to that, we have a phone holder to place your phone. Along the top of the mixer, we have a USB input now this allows you to actually save scenes and export scenes for storage. However, you can also use this to play back WAV files or to record a stereo mix from the console itself. And of course, you can use this to do firmware updates on the mixer quite easily. The X32 features a 32x32 USB Firewire audio interface. In addition to that, this remote button provides extra control for your favorite DAW, for example, Pro Tools. So you can use this to control fader banks in Pro Tools and other functionalities such as transport controls, fast forward, rewinds, mute, and arm um, for recording purposes. So let's look at the back of the console so we can see some of the connectivity on the rear of the mixer. On the rear, we have 32 mic preamps designed by Midas specifically for the X32. We have 16 assignable XLR outputs we have six auxiliary sends on TRS balance connectivity. We have two AES50 ports, port A and B. Each one of those ports provides 48 IO. We have a dedicated Ultranet port for our P16 monitoring system. We also have a AES EBU digital out, MIDI in and out, and Ethernet and USB connectivity for re remote control. For example, an iPad application or for control to our PC editing software. There is also a dedicated monitor out feed as well on balanced XLR or TRS. Our freely available iPad app allows you to remotely control the X32 from any location using Wi-Fi. The X32 includes an Ethernet port so you can connect that directly to a wireless router. The app will reflect the fader's positions on the mixer and as you can see there, the fader moves along with the fader's position on the app. You can move between banks and buses, auxiliary sends, DCAs, and you also have mute options. The iPad app also includes a mute enable button to prevent you from accidentally hitting any mutes while using the app itself. The XC2 offers features and specifications never before seen at this price point. It's a versatile mixer suited to many applications including studio and live environments. It's available now. Thank you for watching.